Mama's going live. Hey crafty friends, happy Saturday evening. Welcome to Raincross Farms Makery. My name's Robin and behind the camera, behind the computer is my husband, Bill. You'll hear his voice once in a while. Moaning. Moaning, he's not feeling, he's got, his back is hurting. So anyway, everybody give a big aww, aww. to Mr. Bill. Anyway, when you get here, say hello, hop on, say hi, let us know where you're from if you're new. We are so glad to have you here. Let me get this up and going. So if anybody wants some info, you can access it. Hey. How is everybody? Did you have a great first day of your weekend? I hope so. Okay. So, poor, poor Bill. Yep. If you are if you are watching us, uh, we would love it if you would give our page a heart. If you would follow our page, if you aren't already, we just passed seven thousand. We're on our way to eight thousand. On our way to ten thousand. Yay! 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 And so, follow our page if you aren't already. Sprinkle it out to your crafty friends. This is going to be a fun project tonight. I haven't done. Uh, forward burning in a while. So that's what we're going to do. She says it's going to be a fun It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I kind of teased you about something about something about let's play with fire. We're not really playing with fire, but we are playing with some high heat. So just a second, see if anybody pops on. Like you and I are okay, well, if you are watching live, you will have a red box up here that says live. That is great. If you are, if that box is not there, you're watching the replay. That's great too. Go ahead and comment. We like reading your comments even after the fact. And if you have any questions, just let us know. Just type in hashtag replay so we know you are here. So thanks a lot. Say hi, say hi. Okay, so my project today comes from a thrift store find, and actually Mr. Bill is the one that found it and brought it to me and said, do you think you could use this? So this is what we got at a thrift store. It is a wooden tray. It's, it's what is this, pine? It's actual, it's actual wood. It's not press board or anything. It looks like, looks to be unfinished pine. And it cost me $5.99, minus whatever senior discount they were offering. You dig that senior discount. Yep. So hey, we are hey, going to... There are six people watching now. Woohoo! Awesome! We are going to dress this up with a really cool technique. We are going to use wood burning paste. So here is our surface that we're going to use. This is the transfer we're going to use. Honey Bee Farm. And it just fits in there perfectly. So we're gonna put this in the base of our tray. Honey bee farm, cute little bee, wildflower honey, fresh, local. This is great for us because we're hoping to get our first honey this year. So say hello if you're out there. If you have a free hand, say hello so we know who's out there keeping us company. Okay, let me take this out of the package put this aside. So we are not going to use our normal chalk paste on this because we are going to actually burn this design into the wood. Cross your fingers that it all works out. Okay, so to get this started, I'm just going to I'm just going to lightly sand it. Alice. Hello, Alice. Hi Alice. How are you? Okay, so I've got a sanding block and I'm just going to it feels pretty smooth. Again, this probably, we got this at a thrift store, but it probably originally came from, you know, maybe one of those home goods stores or maybe a Hobby Lobby. I think because it's unfinished wood, it's probably likely to have come from a craft store. So I'm just giving it just a quick little sand.
and it's already got handles, so that is just great. And when we're done, we may put a little bit of, of wax stain on it. Okay, so a little bit of sanding. I'm gonna take my, my uh, microfiber cloth just to get any of that sanding dust out of there. So let me know, have you ever done wood burning with, with torch paste? Let me know if this is new for you or if this is something you've done before. Okay, so here's my surface. I'm going to take my transfer. Now these are um, reusable, um, repositionable, sticky backed silk screen transfer. So where you see white, it's not just empty. There's actually a silk screen in there. So this is super, super sticky. And I'm going to be putting it down on some wood. So I don't want to, I don't want to damage the wood. I don't want to damage the screen when I go to pull it off. So I'm going to put just a little bit of fuzz on it. So I just have a terry cloth towel. Hi Rhonda, how are you? A terry cloth towel just to put a little bit of fuzz on the stickiness so it will come off easier without without maybe stretching. Now, ordinarily, if, if I was putting this on a painted surface and I was going to use wax or ink, not wax, paste or ink, I would probably wax this. But with the chemical that I'm gonna use, I don't want any wax to interfere with uh, how that chemical reaction works. So I've got half of it fuzzed. I'm gonna turn it over on the other side. Hi, Marianne. Let's add a little bit of fuzz to this side. And I'm using my fuzzing cloth, but you could just use any towel. You could use your t-shirt. You tried wood burning once. Like he said, how did that go? Did it, did it turn out good? I've done it several times. Mostly it turns out great. Sometimes it's kind of eh. And you do have to be careful what kind of wood you use. If you use really cheap wood, it, it might not work very well. Okay, so I've got both sides of this fuzzed. I'm gonna completely take it off of here. And I'm going to center it in here. It's just slightly wider than my tray. So just a tad bit of it is gonna go up the side. And that looks good. And I'm going to push down and make sure it is all adhered and that I'm not feeling any lumps and bumps underneath where I got maybe big, big pieces of big pieces of fuzz because I don't want my paste to bleed under. Okay. Found it hard. Yeah, found it. It's hard on cheap wood. Sometimes you just completely destroy the wood. But this looks to be like decent. It's not super expensive, but it's a, it looks like a pine. And you know what? I feel, I feel a piece of, a piece of, piece of bump. Let me get that out of there. Okay. I've got a piece of hair. It's always something. Dog hair? Actually, it might be a... They're always trying to get in there. They are. Okay. So, I generally use these. These are made to go with our chalk paste and ink. So, technically, by using this next product I'm going to show you, you're, you're probably violating your guarantee, your warranty. But... That's only if you tell somebody what you used, if it ruins it. But I have done this several times with our transfers and it has never ruined our transfers. This is what I'm going to use. It's called Torch Paste. I got this online. I think I actually ordered it through Etsy. 
but there is a website right there, torchpaste.com. If you're interested in ordering it, I don't, I don't have any special links or anything. I don't have any discounts, but this is what I use. There are other brands of similar things and they may work perfectly fine. I just have never used them, so I can't, I can't vouch for them. I have only used this and this has worked great. So torch paste, I don't even know what all it is acids and stuff so because this isn't natural ingredients one of my primary objectives is once I get this on I want to clean off this screen first and foremost so I don't have chemicals on my screen any longer than absolutely necessary okay good to know that the wood matters yes some of the dollar store wood is probably not gonna work really well and if it's really thin, it might warp, but this is nice half inch, half inch wood. Okay, so torch paste, and I'm gonna open it, I'm gonna use this just like I use, just like I use my chalk paste. I'm gonna apply it with a squeegee and I'm going to dish it out of here. It's just, it's just this, it's like, it's like yogurt it's like pudding the only reason this is orange is because it's given some color so once you have it applied you can see where it is it's not going to burn orange it's just to kind of help you see where you've got it in place so I'm going to put some of this on here and don't worry if I have too much, I can always scrape it off and put it back in my jar. So with my squeegee, my flat silicone squeegee, I'm just going over those screens and pushing that paste through to the surface. Okay, and I do have too much. Your Dan says, hmm. My Dan? Your Dan. My Dan. Yay, my Dan. Have you had tea with the queen lately? Is our Mike home? Did Mike get his his tea bags with the queen? Dan is my boy, my oldest boy. So pardon us while we have this little conversation. So I'm going to scrape off all the excess because I haven't harmed it in any way. I'll just put it back in the jar. This jar is, uh, what does it say? I'm looking for how many ounces it is. I want to say three ounces. Maybe the lid says, it doesn't say. I think it's, I think it's three ounces. I posted a, a link off of Amazon you found it? for okay. the original torch oh. paste. Okay, good. So I've got this in all of those screens down to the surface of the wood. Scrape up the excess back in the jar. Now this three ounces or two ounces, I don't know, two ounces, three ounces has, has lasted me years, although I don't use it all the time. but. A little goes a long way so they might have smaller jars they might have bigger jars don't don't so much let the price scare you because it, it does last a long time you don't use very much that is a three ounce jar and it's going on Amazon right now for 21 50 okay so this is a three ounce jar on Amazon for 21 50 but it will last you a long time okay so i did say i want to get this screen cleaned off so i've got some uh, dish drying mats from the dollar tree and i'm going to use my little detail tool to pick up this edge and i'm going to pull off my transfer and I'll show you in just a minute. Okay. Stick 
that down there. I don't know. Should I tell you that? Look at you. So you can kind of you can kind of see it. That's not the color it's going to be. It's going to be brown or black, depending on how long. But you can kind of see the pattern there. So let me set this aside. Let me get to cleaning this. Now, we clean our transfers with just water. And because I said this is a chemical, I want to make sure I get this off of here quickly. I don't want the chemical to damage any of the adhesive or any of the material. Yo, you got your tea bags! Yay! You can sit with Her Majesty looking at her calendar and enjoying your tea. Did I tell you that Dan told me that Tina gave him a box he of He has a box of tea, tea but not, not Her Majesty. Yeah, it's Her Majesty. On oh, it was? Her box. Yeah. Oh, I thought it, I thought it wasn't. Okay, anyway, I just sprayed this with water. I'm using, I'm starting with a Swedish dishcloth. You could just use a paper towel. And I'm using this to get the bulk of that off. And my goal is to get this cleaned out of the screen. So next I'm gonna to move to my board eraser, like a magic eraser. And I'm going to use this to clean up that screen. Now it looks like I actually pulled up slivers of wood on the back side, so I want to make sure I get that cleaned off. But I'm just making sure I've got all of that paste off of here and especially out of the screen. So I'm going to peel it up and turn it over. Same thing. Yeah, see I've got a couple of little uh, pieces of wood fiber that my stickiness peeled up, so I probably should have fuzzed it just a little bit better. But hopefully I can get this cleaned out with my board eraser. Same thing, front and back. Okay, those little pieces up. And, like I said, I'm going to try to pull these little splintery pieces off before this dries. Okay, so I'm going to let this, I'm going to let this dry, air dry. And when I'm done letting it air dry, I'll put the backer sheet back on it and put it back in its little plastic sleeve and it will be good to go. Okay, so set this aside. So I've got my design with my torch paste here. Now it comes with minimal directions, let me tell you that. Um, uh, it tells you to apply a thin layer of paste on a stencil or vinyl with a squeegee, blah, blah, blah. Um, sand the wood surface, it tells you to do that first. It says let the paste absorb or dry for about two minutes. So we kind of want it to soak into that wood just a little bit. And of course, remove your, remove your transfer before you do the heat. And they recommend that you use a heat gun that is at least a thousand watts. So a hair dryer is not gonna cut it. I don't think even, this is my embossing tool. I don't think that would even be hot enough so I got I got the good old heat gun from Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight. it was probably 10 bucks $13, $13. Okay. and it is 1500 watts so it's plenty hot enough it's actually made for peeling up peeling paint. up paint so, so it's hot Laura can't wait to see this I cross your fingers it comes out because you never know you never know. Okay, and it also tells you to keep the heat gun moving. So if I just hold this heat gun in one place, it's just gonna burn the whole thing to toast. So you wanna keep it moving. It's gonna take a while before the heat actually activates the paste and the color starts to change, but you just keep at it and it will eventually get hot enough and then you keep 
applying heat until it comes to the desired color you want. So I think it has been at least two minutes. So I'm gonna stand up, hopefully this will probably be loud, but this has, this has high and low. So I think I will start with, go big or go home. I'm gonna start with high. Okay. So again, keep the heat gun moving. Don't get it too close. And I'll stop every once in a while and show you what it's looking like. Because it'll take a minute or two for it to get hot enough to activate that heat paste, torch paste. And once you do this, this is permanent. This is not going to wash off. You could probably sand it off. I'm not sure how deep it's going to affect the surface. Is it, is it going to, to wood burn with the heat gun? Yes. Yes. It's going to activate this, whatever this is, whatever these chemicals are, it's going to activate them and they will start to change color. Whoops. Bill, Bill already gave you the scientific explanation. Yeah. Okay, so no change in color yet, other than it looks like it's drying. So I'm going to keep going. Keep moving your heat gun. And then all of a sudden it will just start to change color. Again, don't, don't get it too close. You have less control the closer it is. You don't want it too far away because you want it to be hot. If you are interested in this transfer, whoops, if you're interested in this transfer, you can type supplies in the comments and you can follow product info to where it says today's supply link and you can take a look at this transfer, the Honeybee Farms transfer. I don't sell, I don't sell torch paste so you won't find it in there, but if you want to do this design with just regular paste, you can certainly do that too. Okay, so still hasn't changed. Cross your fingers that it works. Your boys are giving you lots of wows. Both your boys. You just have to be patient. Starting to see it turn. Slowly I turn, step by step, inch by inch. Okay, can you see how it's, of course that's hot, can you see how it's starting to change color? Right up there. Once it starts to change, you have to keep an eye on it.
to smell like popcorn. I don't know why. And it's starting to warp a little bit. Again, that could be the quality of the wood. But I think, I think when it's cooling down, if I just hold it down, it, I can unwarp it. So I, I'm just going to keep this heat applied until I get to the color that I want. I'm going to try to keep it consistent. I can try to make it a light brown or I can go straight to black. stop just for a second because I'm not all done but I want to show you I want to show you what that top looks like that pretty and that is just burnt into the wood now not deep but and again oh you know what it's doing it's it's bending my uh, it's bending my cutting board so I'm gonna put this down okay and I'm going to get back to this. Why my boys aren't giving me stars? I don't know. Maybe we haven't trained them right. Aren't giving you a lot of happy faces and yep. love. <laughs> yes, it is cool. It's a fun project. It's also a big, a big, a big area, so it's taken me a minute to get this done. But you got nothing better to do on a Saturday night, do you? Obviously. Not like watching paint dry. It kind of is. You're watching paint burn. If I'm not mistaken, there are even recipes on, you can look on Pinterest. Um, you can, or Google how to make your own torch paste. The chemicals are, I guess, are not difficult to find, but you just have to buy them in kind of large-ish quantities that you might not ever go through. But if it's something you're going to use a lot of, or if it's something you want to share with your friends, it might be worth making your own. I could probably try that just so I can tell you how it works. Okay. Just the middle part left. And again, I'm about an inch away from the surface. Okay. 
getting really dark. Yes, it is. It is. I kind of like the dark. It makes a big contrast. the stars. to go. This is going to be screaming hot, so don't touch it. And this, the base of this is going to be very, very hot too, so be very careful. And it looks like it is not warped. It looks like what I was doing was warping my plastic mat under here and it was lifting it up. But here is, here is my tray, Honeybee Farm Wildflower Honey Fresh Local. Awesome. Now, once this cools off, which it's going to it's going to take a minute or two. I can, it tells me on my directions, it tells me that I can uh, stain it or use leave a uh, use a sealer or leave it natural. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to stain it with my dark wax. And I don't think it's going to cool down very very quickly. So I'm just going to kind of show you what it will look like on the sides. So this is um, dark wax. It's just paste wax in a dark color. This is Howard brand chalk teak dark wax. Sometimes it's called antique wax, but it's paste wax. And I'm going to get my, I'm going to get my microfiber cloth. I could do it with a paper towel too. I'm just going to get some of this wax on here. Again, I'm not going to hit the bottom here because it will really just melt because it's hot, but this isn't quite so hot. So this is going to actually give my wood a little finish color and that wax is going to give it a little surface protection. And it will bring out some of that grain of the wood. And you just rub it on, and then if it's too dark, you kind of just rub it off. And it gets darker in spots and lighter in spots, but isn't that pretty? It's so pretty! Again, don't do this side because it's really, really hot, and you'll just melt your wax. just going to go around the outside and then after it cools down I'll do the inside and then I'll post a photo of it on the website so you can see the finished product after it's all done okay, so here's the side
And again, if you just wanted to leave it plain, you could do that. If you wanted to spray on or paint on just a clear, a clear coat, you could do that. that edge and let's get this one more edge here and like I said later I'm gonna go in still still warm I can touch it now but it's still very warm it will melt my wax so Laura wants to know where you got the tray I got this tray at a thrift store I know that doesn't help you but that tells you, always be looking around when you go to thrift stores because you never know what you're going to run into. But I would not doubt that this didn't come from someplace like Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Because it's unfinished wood, I'm thinking it probably came from a craft type store. Okay. So those are my edges. Like I said, when it completely cools down, I'll finish up the inside with the antique stain, the dark wax. And here is, here is my project. I'm gonna pose for the camera for a second. Okay, super duper easy. You saw how easy that was. See how detailed it is? You kind of look at the where the, the letters that say Honey Bee Farm, and it looks like there's they're missing some spots. That's part of the design to kind of make it look um, distressed or worn. That's part of the design. It's not like it didn't transfer through. But yes, I love this. Super, super way to decorate torch paste. I got it online tray I got at a thrift store or a craft store and then of course my transfer that I used and my other supplies again if you're interested in these supplies you can type supplies in the comments and you will get a link to your messenger follow the product link to today's today pro la, 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 la. today's product list and it will, it will give you a cart link of all of the chalk supplies that I use that I sell in my chalk shop. And what else? Oh, if you are interested in trying this out, maybe not on such a large scale, but you want to try just a little sample kit. I think I still have everything. Here's my little sample kit. If you want to try like a little sample kit, I've got these for sale on my Square store. So it comes with a... a little transfer it comes with this this is a completed one this is a um, chalk suede paper tag and you get mini squeegee and you get a little packet of paste not not torch paste but you could absolutely use this with torch paste but if you're interested in the sample kit just type the word sample in the comments and we will make sure you get that link and I think that's it for tonight. It was not a super long one, but again, it doesn't always take a long time to do something beautiful. So thanks for watching with us. Yes, the light and dark is a nice contrast. I think I still am gonna go over it with the rest of it. But anyway, so thanks for watching. Hope you follow us if you're not already following. And we will be on again very soon, and we'll be seeing you do something creative every day. Bye-bye.